All right. Greetings. Just in time. All right, so I got a fucking request absolution because I fucking went to kick the pyromancer and just ended up attacking him. So now I am cleansed of sin. It has something to do. It has something to do with the amount of a. Uh, of souls, you, I'm not souls. You have the, what your level is determines how much you have to pay. If I was like level 200, I would have been paying a ass load of souls. All right, so here is this guy. Oh, hello. And blah blah blah. I don't want to listen to all their dialogue. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna buy this because it does make you. Whoa, whoa, that's too expensive. I'm not buying that yet. Goodbye. <laughs> At least he doesn't bitch about me not buying anything. Okay, so the pyromancy guy is here. I like how it just sits there up in the corner. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the great small, so I can use the magic with a bit of care. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah. I don't know why he even asked that. Oh, really? Oh, I fucked that up. Okay, you can just ask him again. I don't know why he even asked, because then you can just say no. Oh, really? But I'm on What? Oh, yeah, because they switch it. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Well, he sounds confused right as he talks. Oh, I'm sure they did by, by some gave some assistance. Oh, right, there, Mike. <laughs> okay, so, man, this shit's expensive, but it's useful. Now, combustion's cheap as fuck. Fire orb is expensive, but that's what I like about pyromancy is you don't have to level up a stat. You can just throw a bunch of this and uh, and of souls into just leveling up your pyromancy. Goodbye. Then. And it doesn't use any stamina, so you can, like, just keep spamming it over and over. Why is that at the top there? Alright, since I don't have that bonfire to rest at, I can't attune my magic. I was just thinking about that. Whatever. Come on, what the fuck is it doing? It was just, like, walking slowly. But yeah, when I first, uh, came to this area, the butcher was just chopping shit, then they... Like, she just stopped, and then I ended up falling down a trap that's right here, and never, I don't even know if I fought her. I don't like saying her. Because it just, it looks like a fucking dude. Why did they make them female, but not make them look like women at all? I hate that there's this slow-moving part with the poison dogs. What is this water supposed to be? Just, like, fucking sludge? Oh my god, that's so fucking annoying. Die! Oh, now I'm hitting the damn ceiling. He's not even attacking, he's exclusively dodging. Will you die? Okay. Now change my helmet, this looks more like a fucking... Um, samurai helmet like this. It'd be cool if you could get, like, traditional samurai armor or something, because I don't like the fucking gold. Okay, so... Jump down, you ugly manly bitch. I wasn't sure of where... The placement was. Okay, come on. Alright. I'm gonna try and parry. I'll fuck it up, though. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess the indication that these are female is the pyromancer does say it would have been her dinner. Okay, that's what you gotta watch out for, because that turns into a grab. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Why do they wear fucking sacks on their heads? I wonder what they look like without them. Okay, I got the sack. I was afraid I wouldn't get the fucking sack, because I, I think it's a 100% chance drop from that one, but the first one it isn't. And the butchers don't fucking respawn. I don't know why, they aren't like really tough enemies, but... Alright, I see you up there shaking that ass. I used to fall for that like every time, I just never remembered. And those things could be a real pain if you don't know that they're weak to fire. It just seems like, why do these things just take so much fucking damage? But most things in, like, swamp areas, most things are are weak to fire. 
save for a couple in Blight Town, and then the boss itself in Blight Town is damn near 100% resistant. I don't think there's anything over there. And there's just a bunch of them right here. But because I have a fire weapon, they're just easily killed if I can manage to hit them. I didn't kill you in one hit. A fireball should. I hate it when I go to change one thing and end up like flicking all the wrong stats. Or not stats, but all the wrong menus. Like when I'm just trying to open like change to my fireball or whatever and then I end up switching on my quick bar to fucking humanity instead of a... Uh... Whoa. That's, that's normally a rare drop, although I do have five humanity. I must have gotten another one. I was just looking at it and only had four. Alright, so, uh, the depths, you know, match for me. I don't even have to be here. I didn't even have to be here today, or I wasn't even supposed to come in, whatever. I think you actually need to get, yeah, I think I used the master key to open that. You're normally not supposed to be able to open this just yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and reverse Halloween and kindle it. Because there is an NPC invader here. And you get the large ember here and everything. And the boss here is pretty cool. Alright, so I leveled up a little bit and attuned my magic to Fire Orb and Combustion. This Fire Orb is just a stronger fireball, really. And it's like the only pyromancy spell I used when I first... Yeah, really cool. The only pyromancy spell I used when I first played the game. And I never really thought to level it up. I only leveled up like three times. I didn't know how good it was. Just a giant rat boy, and then those boxes hide that way down, and then I think you can't leave right here. Oh, no, you can. There's just a bunch of them. And they, they're all just... I, I meant to have fire orb. They're all just, like, running away into the corner. I thought it would have killed more than that. What are they doing? I didn't even hit that one behind me. I don't know that I've ever used the Great Axe in this game. Oh, did I get a humanity? Yeah, this is the place to fucking grind for humanity. And these things are just fucking weird and gross. They're just like bloody chunks of flesh, but I, I have to kick them. I, I knew that was coming as I walked up to kick the box. Like, I forgot until I had already committed to the kick. There's also like little rats that run to the side that you can never catch up with. I don't know what the deal with that is. I, I guess they just disappear. Imagine, like, rats that size. I think that's what you need to do to get to that door at the bonfire. Look at its eyes. That's fucking disturbing looking. I was, like, imagining rats actually that big. And I'd have to stand with them. <laughs> like, giant zombie rats. They're, like, the size of a... of a large dog. I completely missed this area right here. When I almost said as a kid when I first played it. If this is the area, I think, yeah, it is with the channel. Because he'll just fuck you up. And I actually, I think I just fought the boss without ever knowing that about this area. So I think I just fought the boss, which is down there with him just shooting at me. But then he was easily defeated. Now, yeah, that was kind of like a samurai helmet. Not really, but... Yeah, I wish you could just get, like, a traditional samurai armor. Oh, God, I blocked that and then unblocked too fast. I hate when these things can stun me out of my attack. Just getting stunned out of your attack is incredibly fucking annoying. No traps there. And I probably will end up getting, like, somewhat lost. Just because... When you get into, like labyrinth-like, uh, underground areas that all kind of look the same. I can get really lost. I'm, I'm just fucking bad with directions, although I don't think I will get lost. But it is possible. I used to get really lost in the fucking depths, and that's why I just always fucking didn't do anything with them. Like, when I found out you could just skip it, I would just go get the large ember and just say, fuck it. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can jump over that. Oh, I didn't... I, that was really kind of a leap of faith there. I didn't know if that would work. I didn't think it would. Okay, stop running away! Enemies running away is fucking... 
I'm getting like overly annoyed by that kind of shit. Okay, there's a giant rat. I'll come back in a second. He saw me and he was just like, "Yeah, must kill." I'm not seeing a lot of summon signs, and I have yet to be invaded. I wonder if the Dark Souls online community is actually starting to wane. Okay, yeah, that's where it just was. Oh, I guess I just didn't see this area. I think those things are designed to make you, like, fall into the traps, because you just walked right over, but I would have fucking fallen down. I don't remember exactly where you fall down to. And the depths also, like, make me think this game is a lot like older games in another capacity, that you're in a fucking sewer. Old RPGs just had to have fucking shit. Sewers. Okay, this is annoying. That's a problem with locking on, is when you get way too close like that. And Dark Souls 3, that's a, like, legitimate, like, real problem. Is that you get close to these big enemies and then they fucking, like, you can't see what you're doing. I don't remember this thing having such... I don't remember this thing being the stability destroyer that it's being right now. You can completely avoid even fighting him. I didn't kill you. Okay. I think he drops humanity. One? I should have gotten more for that. Okay, yeah, I know. I think I know where I am. I took kind of a different path than I normally do. Yeah, that's where I need to get... Oh, okay, I know. Okay, so yeah, now you're on the other side. And this kind of... This fucked me up my first time, but if you just stay left, you'll be able to slide right down in that really lame, stupid way. These enemies are fucking lame. These, like, like gross amoeba things. It's, like, one of the only enemies that I just think is, like, completely lame in Dark Souls, because it doesn't attack in a cool way or anything. I don't think I need a key for this shortcut, do I? No. Okay, so there's a shortcut from the bonfire. I love that there are shortcuts to everything. Like, you have to take the long way around the first way, but then once you have proven yourself, you no longer have to. I like stuff like that in games. I remember when I was playing Demon Souls, and I, like, opened up the shortcut and realized I didn't have to go through the whole level again. I was like, oh, okay, this game is... This game's not so bad. It's kind of a bitch until you get to the shortcut, but it's not so hard. I like this guy's weird-ass armor and helmet. I should have been an activator. I'm Donald of Zeno. I'm just a bad nurse. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Alright, that was short and sweet. I don't know what the fucking swim may is, but... I actually don't think I'm gonna... Well... How much is this? Oh, not worth it. But I did use that for a while. The crystal shield's not bad, but it can't be upgraded. But I actually do want to buy some of his armor. Well. Alright, using some of my consumable souls, I got enough for Armor of the Glorious, which has really high... Thank you. It has really high curse resistance, and there's an area with the bunch of enemies that can curse you, and getting cursed is just such a pain in the ass. And this isn't half bad armor. It looks kind of gay, but I used it for a long time when I first got it. I thought, I was still looking for like an objectively best armor set, and I thought this might be the one for the time being. I remember when I got this armor, I was like, okay, I've got some really good armor now. That's not like necessarily untrue. Well, yeah, I just had, you know, decent armor. But for this area, it's really good. And I think this just leads to the boss. Did I completely miss the area with the cursed enemies? Well, the enemies that curse you? I need to go down there, because that's where the fucking phantom is. Okay, here it is. Oh, I just skipped right over the rats. Get away! These rats are just like a nuisance how they surround you and everything. I don't like nuisance enemies. Because it is, it's just that, it's just a nuisance. They aren't necessarily fun to fight. I mean, fighting the rats isn't like, you know, everybody's favorite enemy. Man, fighting those fucking rats in Dark Souls, man, that was fucking awesome. 
It's not like it pisses me off. It's just, and, and, and you know, it, it fits with the area and everything. I would not want to be under that. Who knows? Well, maybe that's clean water, but this isn't a clean area. It's got to be a sewer. So these crazy ass frogs. That's just a creepy enemy to happen across as you're going through the level. These things with giant eyes. Oh man, Kirk, you're not so tough. And I was staggering you and everything. His weapon does a lot of bleed, but his weapon sucks. Oh. Alright. I didn't even mean to parry that last time. I better... I was like saying, you know, you're nothing, and then I just started getting my ass kicked, of course. So I like combustion. Okay. Kill him enough times and you can get that armor set, but it's not really any good. So now I now have more active humanity. And what did this guy drop? An Eye of Death? Not really any use unless you're doing a certain covenant. It's weird that the first one I killed gave me an Eye of Death, and if I just don't ever get that item, whatever. I've, I've gone through this game without ever entering the depths and not had to fucking get that item. I used to get so fucking hopelessly lost in the deaths. It's really not that bad. But it all kind of looks the same, and there's a lot of paths that lead to nowhere, and... This area, with all these frogs that can curse you, getting cursed is just such a pain in the ass. And if there's a bunch of them, and they do that, they spray their fucking curse. Like, their curse mist. It fucking leaves your health, like permanently halved until you remove the curse. That's that's actually a cursed player. I like that, how people have gotten cursed. You can see they're like spiky bodies all over the place. Oh, shit. Yeah. But because I have this armor, my curse meter is really big. But I have gotten cursed here before. But I did... I'm pretty sure, I, like, my first time through... I'm, I'm not sure if I got cursed or not, but... Jeremy had played this area before me. Like, as he played this game before me, uh, I'm not... I think I started playing it before he had beaten it, but then I stopped and he, like, just kept playing it. But I started all my pals on the, uh, the Souls game kick, because I was the one that bought Demon Souls. But, uh, he was playing this while I was playing Demon Souls, if I remember correctly, and then I eventually started playing this. But like we, while we were talking, he was talking about how he got cursed. And that was his first time he lost like an ass load of souls, and he was like, What the fuck happened to me? And then he said, I don't think I can play a game this punishing. Which has just been a fucking joke ever since. Ugh. Shit. Alright, I, I don't think there's anything left to do here. Oh, here's the item. Ring of the Evil Eye. Oh, that's just a fucking stupid useless ring anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go fight the boss now. I got rid of those souls because... I don't know, I was at the bonfire because I needed to reset everything anyway and wanted to just get the fucking... Uh, get the fuck out of that area. Because I couldn't remember how to walk back. That's why I like Homeward Bones. You don't have to remember how to walk back. I used to think Homeward Bones were like a, a rare item when I first started playing the game. Now this area looks pretty cool. This, you know, again looks very castle-like. But it's got this huge wide open thing here with all these broken pillars and it looks all dilapidated and abandoned and there's water running through it. You can see the sky, like, the sun shining through. It looks cool, but it's still dark because you're underground. But you don't feel as un as far underground as you do when you're in Blight Town, but... If you didn't go to Blight Town first, this area feels a lot deeper. You know, you feel like, oh, I'm getting pretty far underground, and then you end up in Blight Town, you're like, whoa, I, I wasn't really that far underground at all. Okay. And you just, you know, you can tell something's going to happen there, because it's a big, wide-open area. If you ever play the game, you know, there's there's going to be something there. But that's actually not the way you go to progress. You think you just keep walking through there, but you don't. You actually have to go back, but you have to kill the fucking boss to get the key. 
to progress. It's weird. It's like they're trying to break uh, video game traditions or something. It just really looks cool. An alligator. Wait a second! That's no alligator! Uh, no, that thing looks fucking awesome. It's like this grounded, like, amphibious, I guess, dragon. It has wings, huge wings, but it never flies. It's not in the sky. How did it even get in here? And the inside of it's all, like, spiky and fucked up looking. And that just looks crazy. I mean, that's a fucking boss. Okay. Ugh. Swing and a miss. Okay, fuck you. I don't- I barely ever fight this boss. But I don't even- Oh yeah, you can cut his fucking tail. But I, I thought this boss was like, really fucking hard when I first fought him. I used to thought like, he just rushed the fuck out of you. Oh my god. And he does, but he's fairly easy to- to dodge. <laughs> okay. I'm... Come on. I don't remember how I normally fight him. I, I'm trying to get over to his tail. I'm not doing as much damage to him as I normally do. I hate bosses that do that. I don't like attacks like that. The temper tantrum attack is what I fucking... I've been calling it for years and what probably everyone has been calling it, but it's like they just they just throw a little tantrum. So here's how you get the real damage in when I'm in the wrong spot. Jesus. I hate when your character does your the gay little Oh I'm gonna stumble. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the tail because I don't need the sword or whatever it gives you. <laughs> As I'm saying that I fucking cut the tail off. It's cool how you can do that, like, you could completely miss weapons if you don't know to attack the tails, and you could just happen across them by accident. And of course his weird nose head, that is still technically his head, but that's, like, where he's weak. I keep doing that! I keep being on the wrong one. He's not that weak to fire. What's he doing, just resting? He's really not that tough if he does that. Oh, now I cut his tail off, it actually makes the battle easier. I hate enemies that jump into the air like that, but... It is interesting how the game makes you think that this small enemy... You don't even know if it's gonna be a boss. Oh shit, get out of that! That shit degrades the fuck out of your equipment. Ugh. Well, it did my pyromancy. It broke my pyromancy, whatever. How's my pyromancy even getting broken? Your... <laughs> your glove broke. I don't remember if that's a grab or not. I'm pretty sure he has a grab, but I don't know. Alright, just die. You fucking broke my equipment. That pisses me off. You're not so tough. Now I can go to Blighttown. I could have already gone. Man, I really wish he didn't fucking degrade my equipment. I don't remember if he gives you a good drop or not. That's where you get this armor? That's shitty armor. It has no poise at all. Oh, it makes a different sound here. Okay, that's enough of that. And I don't think there's anything else to get here. Yeah, it's weird that you don't progress further here. Whoa, whoa. That just leads to nowhere. You gotta go back to where that locked door was, where Swim May guy was. 